Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials. And this week I'll be showing you how to use the UI switch in your applications. Now in the simulator here, I have an example of what we'll be creating today. We have our UI switch at the top, a label and a button. Now when the switch is on, the label displays switch is on showing button 1. And when we hit the switch to turn it off, the label changes switch is off showing button 2 and then button 2 is displayed. And we can turn it on and off and the label and button will change. So we're basically going to be creating that today and already have my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Switch Tutorial for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing we need to do is add our outlets and action buttons for our switch button and the outlets for our label and our two round rack buttons. So in our view controller.h, I'll zoom in for you now. Just after the UI view controller, press space and then do curly bracket and press enter. And we do the outlet for our switch first, so we do IB outlet space UI switch space asterisk. I'll name the switch simply switch button. It's very easy to understand by doing it this way. And now we need to add the outlet for our label and the two round rec buttons that will be appearing when the switch button is tapped. So we do IB outlet UI label asterisk. I'll name the label simply label and again IB outlet, UI button, space asterisk. I'll name the first button simply button one. Let's copy and paste it, make it a little bit quicker. And the second button, button two. So if you want to pause here and just catch up on adding in the outlets. So I now I'll finally just add our action button. So we do dash bracket IB action. Let's get rid of the sender and the ID. We don't need that. And I'll simply name it the switch and then end that with a semicolon. So that's all the outlets and actions you need to add for this tutorial. So now we can zoom out and then go into our view controller.m. And I'll have to zoom in again. And just after the implementation, I'm going to press enter a few times so we have a fair bit of room so you can see me typing out the code a lot easier. So we start by typing our action button. So we do IB action bracket and we named it the switch space curly bracket and press enter. Now the way to work a switch is we do an if statement so for if the switch is switched on it does a certain action and if it's switched off it does another certain action. So to do that we just type if and press enter and then we get a statement coming up. Now we named our switch simply switch button so we do type in switch button the name of our outlet dot on so when this switch is on in this statement here is what will happen so the first thing we want to do is have our label display the saying switch is on and button one is being displayed so the label dot text space equals space the at symbol quotation mark quotation mark and in between the two quotation marks is what will be displayed in the label so we do switch is on button is shown and after the quotation mark you end that with a semicolon and then press enter now we need to need button one to be displayed so we put in the out type in the outlet for our button one which we named it button one we do dot hidden space equals space now as it's been displayed, we don't want it to be hidden, so we simply type in no. And that semicolon. And repeat the process of button two, where it will be hidden. So we do space equals space, and this time we do yes as we want it, want it to be hidden. So after doing that, end it with a semicolon and save that. So now you've got all the code in there that's needed for when the switch button is on, it will simply display this line of text in our label. It will make sure the Button 1 is not hidden, so it's displayed in our view, and it will make sure button 2 is hidden. So then, 
Once we switch it to our off position, we need to know in the if statement, we need to do else. So if anything besides it being on, meaning else, so you have to type in else space, close the bracket and press enter. So when it's not switched on, it will. If we can, we can simply copy our three lines there, and paste them in. So if I was doing that, switch is. Let me change this now to off. Button two is shown. Now we need to button one to be hidden, and then button two to be shown. So it repeats the opposite for if the button is switched off. And the reason I'll be showing you buttons is that you can add certain actions like playing sounds or doing certain stuff like that and you can switch it on and off to have these to be shown at a certain point when it needs to be. So now you've done that you can save that and if you want to pause the video to here and catch up on that bit of code in there because that's all it's needed now it's very simple to do so if we zoom out and go into our viewcontroller.xib where we will add in our UI switch which is just here so we drag that in and now we need to place in our label. And now as the view is loaded and the on button will already be on, we need to simply put switch is on, button one is shown. And now I'm just going to center the text. Now we need to add our two round back buttons. So I'll place the first one in and simply name it button one. Copy and paste it so I have two and change it to button two. So if I bring these closer together, highlight them all and center in with the label and our switch button and then click on files owner which is just at the top here in our connections tab we link up our outlet so button one simply goes to our button one button two goes to button two label to label and now our switch button when you link up the outlet which is the same as the other outlets when it comes to the action when you link that up Rather than has to do normal buttons or anything like that, we normally do touch down or touch up inside, we simply do value changed as simply you will change between the two switches, giving different functions for whatever value is selected. Now, as button one is on, button two needs to be generally hidden when the view is loaded. So if we just click onto our button, and in the options here we get to edit it, just make sure it's hidden. There we go. So we can save that and then make sure it's in your simulator. And then finally go to build and run. Okay, then, so now once it's loaded up in the simulator, we have the on button on, we have our second button hidden. As the button's on, the switch is on and button one is shown. So if we switch it off, switch is on, button two is shown. So the text in our label changes and button two is shown and our first button is hidden. And the buttons don't really do anything because you haven't programmed to do anything at all. But this is a little feature I'm showing you here where you can expand on it and add other features to the buttons, making your app have something like secret features or added features that you can't all display in the view at one time. So this is very simple to create. I hope this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. Make sure you thumbs up the video, favorite it, and leave us a comment on any cheese tutorials you want to suggest yourself or any feedback you would like to leave us. But most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you all next week in our next tutorial. Hey guys, Aaron here. Please support us by liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter, and checking out all our apps by simply searching Geek11 on the App Store. And make sure you visit our website where we have a full list and full source code for all our tutorials, and visit our blog, forums, and all the other great features we have to offer on our website.